Now we're moving on to part three of our pegboard, and we are going to be creating the actual pegboard. It first says create a pegboard part that's three fourths of an inch for the height and five and three fourths an inch for the width. So we're going to go open up Inventor, go new, part, standard, and we're going to go click start 2D sketch, start 2D sketch. Always click the top left corner. And then here we are. So we're going to get our rectangle tool, click it in the middle, and it says it is five, three fourths an inch. And then it says it is three dash four an inch for the height. Okay, and we're going to click enter. And then we're going to look at it. So right now we have that. Now we're going to go back to our worksheet. And it says the width is three inches for depth. So we're going to go back here. So we want to extrude it. So we're going to click finish sketch, extrude. And right now it says one inch and we want it to be three. We're going to click enter. Now we're going to go back to the worksheet and it says with holes that will accept the round and square pegs you designed. Both holes should be properly centered both vertically and horizontally within the rectangular base. So first thing we need to do is scroll up and look at the sizes. So they're one inch. So we're going to go back to our sketch and we need to cut in a one inch hole that's circular and a one inch hole that's a square. So we're going to go to our view. So we want to cut the top of it. So we're going to right click, new sketch. I'm going to go back to my home view so we can see it. So we'll go to the top. There we go. And we're going to get our circle one first. I'm going to put it right about here and just type 1, enter. Then we're going to do rectangle, and we want it to be even, and we're going to do 1, tab 1, to make it 1 inch by 1 inch. This way our pegs can fit in there. Now, if we go back to the worksheet, it says it needs to be, both holes should be properly centered and both vertically and horizontally. So if you remember, to go do this, we want them to both be centered. So to do this, we can do either right click, general dimensions, or you can always click the button up here that says dimension. Now, this, from this point to this point is three inches. So if we divide that, we want, that would be three inches, so one inch, one inch, one inch. So we want our middle of our square, our circle, to be from this edge, 1.5, because that would put it equally from this one. So then we want this edge to be from this edge one inch. And that's because this line is being measured from the middle of the circle and this one's being measured from the edge. So this that's why the half of the circle is half an inch. So that's why this one's more. Now so they're equally distance from the edges. Now we want to go and make sure they're equally the distance in the middle here. So we are going to make sure this edge from this edge is one inch. So we're going to click here and click here and make it one inch. So we're going to click cancel, right click general dimension. I want this edge from this edge to be one. That's because one inch here, one inch from here, and one inch from here makes it perfectly even. And then we want to make sure the middle of the circle is directly halfway through here. So that would be halfway through a three would be 1.5 inches. And now they are perfectly in the middle. So we're going to click finish sketch. And then we want to extrude them where the pegs can go through them. Because as you can see, we want both, they should be holes. So we are going to extrude them, but extrude them where they go all the way through. So we're going to click extrude. I'm going to click this one and this one and see how they're going up. We want it to go the opposite direction so it cuts through. See how it's doing that? Then we'll click the green check mark and voila, you have your pegboard done. So if you want to check the view, see that it's cut out, you can rotate it and see how there is that. So I'm going to grab my orbit tool so you can see. See how the holes are cut out? And that is your pegboard. And now you need to go File, Save As. 
and on the worksheet while we're saving. It says we need to save it as pig board. So make sure you go and do that under your H drive. 